All right, everybody. Block Koopa's back. Or Block Pit, I guess you could say. Anyway, we just beat all of those guys. So, we're gonna travel around. This is the first time we're traveling around and there are enemies just on in the path. Those enemy pyramids are just a standard enemy that have different forms. Like, some can have boomerangs, some can have shoot fire, some of them can do metal. Those cloud enemies, they're just regular. They aren't very strong. Ooh, electric. They're just regular. They're not very strong. Um, but whenever you kill them, I mean, whenever you hit them, they, um, turn into black storm clouds, and they do a lot more damage, and they're a lot more aggressive. Anyway, this item right here is, uh, like, a trophy stand. Oh, what the heck? It's a trophy stand. Oh, wow, that was stupid. Trophy stand, if you hit an enemy with a trophy, you get to turn them into a trophy. With a few subjects, um... With a few, um, um, not everyone, okay? I drew a blank on the word I was trying to say. Sorry about that, but, um, anyway, uh, I had something I was trying to say earlier. I had something I was going to try to say. Well, I forgot what it was. I guess it's not that important if I, um, can't think of it. And hey, look, Mario actually turned into a trophy. He didn't die. <laughs> I guess that's technically what happens when you die. You turn into a trophy in this game. That actually could be it, because, um, I guess it's not only that gun that turns you into a, a trophy. But anyway, apparently you can save people from the trophies. And now I can choose either Mario or Pit. I'll pick Pit. I could press Z to do random, assuming that's actually what it said. It looks like it. I wasn't really looking for it. I think earlier I was talking about one of the enemies, but I don't remember. Anyway, these enemies are annoying. If you, um, hit one of them, if you walk into one of them, they're just rolling around, then it'll try to electrocute you. And some of them do ice, and some of them do fire. How annoying that is. Well, anyway, I don't know why I did that. I was just, guess I was just trying to kill that guy, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I was, I, I think I was talking, I'm gonna talk about one of the enemies. These things you can't kill. I think they're jinxes. Yep, they're no jikes. Sorry. Jinx is a Pokemon. What am I thinking? Well, anyway, the, um, pyramids are, like, the, uh, the main enemies in this. They're the weakest ones, and they're not that strong. You can get items out of enemies for killing them sometimes. Not all the time. But, um, I have a bomb. And I just got rid of my bomb. That hurt. And you die in the story mode the same way you die in um, regular um, battles. Because normally the screen will follow you, but um, if you um, get hit hard enough by an enemy, then the screen won't catch up to you immediately. So you'll die. And, oh yeah, I, I remember what I was going to say earlier. I knew he'd come back. Um, I was gonna talk about the those little icons at the mid left corner. Th those are your lives. <laughs> those are your lives. And as you can see, there's Mario in the bottom one. That means if I die, I turn into Mario and I use Mario next. And the other two are just um, anonymous, I guess. That's what I was saying. See, I almost died right there. 
And yes, you do take damage for getting away from the screen for too long. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, I died. Eh, I was taking quite a bit of damage. So I just turned to Mario and almost... Oh, that was close. I'm trying to grab food, gosh. Well, I'm gonna know those guys. So anyway, I am not a master of this game. I am no expert. If anything, I'm pretty bad at this game. But I am... I, I, okay. I'm pretty bad compared to some people, but I am also decently good. Okay. Ooh, Koopa Shell. It wasn't a block Koopa Shell, but, you know. Stop that. These enemies will keep aiming at you. You just keep hitting them, and it'll turn, it'll, um, turn them away from you. These things off of Kirby, and this these doors, these golden doors, and the lights usually mean you're at the end of the level. So, level completed. And another cutscene, and ooh, who could that be? Gee, I wonder. <clears throat> Star Fox. Oh, uh, sorry. Anyway, let's look at our trophies and stickers we collected. A lot more stickers and trophies. Stickers are just a little paper things that fall, um, that just fall like paper. And you can obviously tell what a trophy is. Anyway, I got two Pokemon and I got Paper Bowser. And I got some coins and I got a, a little bit of a score. Now I have Mario on my team. And Pit. I should probably tell you, if, if you play the story mode before you, um, do, um, regular battles, you can unlock characters by doing battles, and you can also unlock them in story mode. If you, if, if you get to where it says newcomer, whatever character, then, um, that means you unlock that, you unlock that character in the regular battle mode, and other modes. Uh-oh. Now I get to choose one of them. I guess I'll be Kirby since I haven't been Kirby yet. I'm on the airship. Uh, not an airship. Um, I'm thinking Mario here. Halberd. Technically it is an airship, but whatever. Anyway, this is obviously the only way we really can go. So let's just go this way. Uh oh. Someone's being shot at. <laughs> oh, that, that's not good. Whoa, that's not good. Uh oh. <laughs> I like how it's just from down there. They're at the bottom corner, where, and that's where you're picking your character. Oh wait, no, play again. Never mind. You can just watch the cutscene over again, but we don't need to do that. If you press plus, then you can pause it, and then you can press A to skip the movie. There's a cutscene or whatever. Anyway, I guess I'll play Zelda. I guess I'll do Zelda and not Sheik for a little bit. I don't find Zelda very good. She does have pretty good offensive moves. Like that. Yeah, she does have some pretty cool moves. I just... I don't really like her jumping all that much. She jumps... Basically, the difference between Zelda and Sheik are, Sheik jumps higher, but Sheik's up B doesn't get him uh, as high. But um, Zelda's pretty much the opposite. She jumps very, um, well, not high, <laughs> and but her up B gets her really high. And this is a one-up.
So now I have an extra life. Okay, let's move on. Okay, these enemies are just plain annoying. They, they run away from you, they drop food, you can't get points or items out of them a lot of time because you kill them, I mean because they run away. So yeah. I should probably talk about I'm going to be doing story mode in this game. Oh hey. I'm gonna turn to Sheik so I can get up there. And I will do as most as much hundred percent as I can. Like, if I miss a couple things, I might look it up or something and um go back to it. If you didn't 100% complete a level and collect everything in it, then um, a flag will appear in the uh, main map um, menu. So you can just figure out if you missed something from there. But anyway, I'm going to be doing, uh, in this project, I'm going to be doing story mode. I will also do, um, I will also do a battle with every character, and I'm also going to try to do a battle with every board. Aside from the, uh, custom stages, of course. Which, I think I might actually show the custom stages I made. Um, I probably should tell you, um... Guys, this isn't actually um, my main file on Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, my... I had unlocked everything. My Wii broke. Like, oh, my um, Wii broke. And I had no use for that, so I just threw it. So, um... Um, sorry, I got off track. Um... My Wii broke, so we had to get... This isn't a new Wii. We, we had to get a new Wii, but this isn't the Wii I'm playing on. This is The Wii I'm playing on isn't my new one. Or my and my uh, brother's Wii. Not just mine. It's actually our friends that he let us borrow, and I he allowed me to be able to do the Let's Play just on his file since he had unlocked everything in this game. So, that's just how it works. That's how it's gonna be. So, that's why there was no file in um, subspace already, because he unlocked all the characters by doing brawls. So, yeah, you can imagine it took him a long time. Anyway, these enemies are mites. They are a mite annoying. Why did I just say that? <laughs> Sorry. They're annoying. I really don't like them. They're really annoying enemies. They're not the most annoying enemy, though. I'd love to get a trophy of one if I can find one. Oh, that was bad. I forgot. Oh, that sucked. See, I, I, I'm so bad at that. I can never get that. Ow. Yeah, invincible. I hope I don't fall into a bottomless pit. Okay, there we go. Wait a minute. That arrow was saying- Oh, I'm supposed to fall down here, aren't I? Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So yeah, this is my new project, and it's this video is almost over, so I should probably stop it soon. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this level in this video. That ladder doesn't lead to anything. Ow. Well, I'm going to end the video here. This has been Brock Koopa hiding in here, away from these boulders. 
see you guys later. I hope you enjoy this project. And